What's going on YouTube? All right, so you saw my last video about the basic handyman tools if you wanted to get into this business or just have them around the house and make life easier on you. So we're gonna go over another uh, basic set of tools. If you've gotten what you needed from my last video and you've gotten those tools and you can add based off these, what I recommend, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. This is gonna be based off if you're going into people's homes and whatnot. So let's get right down to it. Um, my favorite uh, vacuum that I own, this baby right here. Now, you're not this one necessarily, but get yourself something to clean up your messes with if you're in customers' houses. Vacuum is fantastic. Um, this one doesn't is not that great, but uh, uh, you know you have you have both of them, whatever. But uh, you need to clean up your messes inside customers' houses. Sometimes you can do a half-ass job, uh, but if you clean up and everything, then the customers are gonna be you know they're gonna be like, oh, you're you're awesome. But uh, do great work, but also clean up after yourself. So I mean that just that should go without saying, but. A vacuum invest in a vacuum doesn't have to be cordless just make sure you clean up after yourself so let's uh let's get over here i want to go through what i have jigs makes it makes life so much easier if you're hanging a door if you're making a door you know you're you have to do door slab work get, there's jigs very very cheap um get yourself some jigs this is a ryobi um jam and uh swing set this is a uh craig uh cabinet uh handle jig i mean it's super this thing is it's i think it costs like 30 bucks but it's it's i've made probably over a thousand dollars with it and it, it saves so much time absolutely and obviously the bolt uh milwaukee kit you know it's all about doors right here except for this one right here even cabinet doors i guess you want to say uh a level you're gonna need yourself a good level more you should have more than one but uh something if you're gonna hang tvs anything like that you're gonna need something needs to have a magnet on it and it'll help out for um, if you're attaching it to uh, TV mounts, you know, post anything, it should have a magnet on it. It doesn't have to, but it'll help out in, in life. Get yourself a few magnet or give you know, a couple levels. Straight edge knife. Um, this, you know, should be under your hand tools. You should have one of these. If you don't, get yourself one. You know, you're, you're cutting out cock. Oh uh, man, open up a box. I mean, I, I don't need to tell you what you need a razor knife for, but yeah, absolutely. Small straight edge, not just for drywall. Um, scraping out, you know. Uh, scraping paint doing you know if you're you know scra scraping cock whatever you need a thin pretty sharp metal straight edge for i mean it's fantastic i have like four of these <laughs> they're they're invaluable they really are all right here we got basic a really cheap i think i've only used this like twice but uh if you're replacing screens and like say uh screen doors um replacing screens in general you're gonna need a tool like this um you can buy them it comes in a kit usually i think this one came in the kit i've got another one uh replacing screens pretty lucrative and you're gonna this is obviously a mandatory you're gonna need you know different thicknesses and you'll be able to push that little um rubber seam in there to get that screen nice and tight so next any way to any way to test um and check your um your saws basically reliability or square uh, what angle you're at if you're on a table saw um it says air of course it does but uh if you're on a table saw you're gonna need you'll, you'll need you need this to make an accurate cut and make sure you're at 45 maybe you know whatever degree you need it to be um to check you know level everything so get yourself it doesn't have to be this one it's just a digital angle gauge it's amazing should be always self-explanatory but you're gonna need a tape measure um yeah i've got like uh, got a few so uh yeah tape measure all right, stud finders. A couple of different ones. This one's basically, obviously, battery powered, um, and it actually it does uh, zircon. It does like find center as well in the stud, and it's de it's pretty dead accurate. I mean, it's I love it uh, for the price. I think this was like thirty bucks. I could be wrong, but uh, yeah, fantastic. This one's always just a magnet uh, stud finder, so it finds the nail or the screws or nails inside the drywall, and it'll stick to it. So. It, it always it helps out too and you can just you know you, you go in there it'll stick to it and you kind of know so pretty simple eye protection should go up there's a little crap right there but i've got plenty you can buy these by like the dozen basically um anytime you're running any kind of any kind of power tool you should be wearing eye protection and most of the time you should be wearing eye protection regardless so uh gotta, gotta be able to see to work right all right grinder now this is a, a power tool you don't need uh to start out but man it comes in handy if you're doing decks if you're grinding off anything you're taking out a door demoing um i recently used this yesterday uh just taking off the the you know i was replacing the shoe that the customer took out in the first place and then i just ground off the old little you know 18 gauge nails or whatever they were and went on my merry way so 
obviously wear eye protection but get yourself a grinder um you, you can change it out it can it can a whiz wheel i mean you can you can do many things this is just invaluable absolutely invaluable tool uh and i find myself reaching for it pretty much pretty much at least twice a week for something for something and i didn't even realize you know i was going to need it so it's, it's not like i can just bring it in a bag that's what the, be the best thing about having all my tools on site at all times so um that's basically it for this video guys i'll link the other video in the description plus a couple other videos uh like and subscribe if you're new to this channel uh i post every monday and friday or saturday depending on how busy i am on friday uh but that's basically it you guys have a great rest of your uh, day and i'll see you on the next video